There's a major shortage of the data science talent needed to build artificial intelligence solutions. Rob, how has IBM built an AI that doesn't require a lot of technical direction from your clients? Right now, we have a global shortage of about 200,000 plus data scientists. There's two ways to deal with that. One is we can provide skilled data scientists to help clients, or two is you can automate. And we've invested a lot in automating the process of data science, from how you find data to how you build AI models. And we found that AI that builds AI, so a way to automate those processes, is really what data scientists want because it makes them more productive at the work they're trying to do. What kind of cost savings um, and time savings uh, do the average clients actually realize in using these platforms? Auto AI, we have found to deliver 80% time savings for a data science project because you're automating the hardest tasks like finding data, building models, training models. This is the stuff that takes a long time when you're doing a project. When you look at something like OpenScale, that's focused on once you are actually using AI in your business, how do you understand how the model's making decisions? So you'll hear the term explainability or bias detection. It's all about understanding why is the AI making the decisions that it's making. And then if you start to see diversions from what you intend, you can quickly make adjustments for that. So that's actually about making your models more productive once they're actually running in your business. So how do you go about preventing bias creeping into data sets? What we do with OpenScale is we actually look at the logs. So everything that's happening in the model and what you have to do is you have to actually trace it back to what was the source of the data, who had access to that data, because sometimes whoever is manipulating the data may unintentionally bias the outcome. So you have to look at the whole life cycle of the model. Not only how is it performing when it's running, but how was it built in the first place? Where did the data come from? If you look at all of those elements, you'll often hear the term data lineage, which is kind of tracking the whole process of the data. Then you can start to uncover, all right, what were the biases that were implemented in the model, typically unintentionally? And then more importantly, how do we eradicate them? Do we need different data sources to do that? Do we need a different algorithm that we're using for the model? How does OpenScale explain to an everyday audience how it comes to its conclusions? It's basically looking for patterns. So you built a model that's focused on, let's say it's, I want to optimize my retail store sales. It's looking at exactly how is that model making decisions? What are the different sources of that data? Maybe the model's been trained on data that's just from one zip code and the obvious thing is, hey, we need a wide number of zip codes because sales could vary just by region, and that's not a real view of this. So it's looking at every attribute of the data. And then more importantly, if you have multiple models in production, look at how are the different models performing? Which one is giving the performance that you would expect, the answers that you would expect based on the data that's feeding in? A lot of this is about pattern recognition over time. What is it going to take for enterprises to adopt artificial intelligence? Because it, it can't simply just be understanding the conclusions of artificial intelligence and how they get to it. Our research found was there was three things that were holding back adoption. It was data, trust, and skills. And your AI is only as good as your data. That's why I like to say there's no AI without IA, meaning information architecture. And what we found in most of our projects is the biggest time consuming problem for businesses is how do I understand where my data is? Is it in a form that's usable for AI? As we get over those barriers, data, trust, and skills, you're going to see adoption skyrocket.